I live outside Oak Grove, Missouri. I have a 50 by 60 outbuilding, and inside this building I grow saltwater shrimp, and it's kind of very rare um, in the state. All this started when I was helping my daughter with a science experiment. We were growing brine shrimp, or sea monkeys as they're commonly known, and it got me to thinking, wow, this is kind of cool and neat, and I wonder if I could grow, or if it's even possible to grow, uh, real shrimp started researching where people are starting to grow shrimp inside buildings year-round so there's always shrimp available and kind of thought oh, that sounds really neat and got me inspired and here we are. I mean how many people can say they're a shrimp farmer in Missouri? <laughs> So now we're inside of the kind of shrimp farming operation. These are like your pets. We do tours and because our tank water is brackish and you can't see the shrimp, we have this set up so just people can come and see the shrimp and of course they've grown to a pretty healthy size. Yeah, they're big. I mean really when you grab a shrimp off of a shrimp cocktail, you don't think about the shape and the size of their bodies, but when you look they're just really interesting creatures. And you can see in here that they've molted. The exoskeleton is in the tank, and Mitch was telling me that the reason why they leave it in there is because it's a good source of calcium for the shrimp. Who knew? All right, let's see if they take the bait. Oh yeah, he's got it. Oh, look at that. See him picking it up with these pinchers? Yes. Oh, and you can see the inside of his organs. You can see like his little stomach working. Yeah. That is so cool. I could stand here and watch this shrimp for hours, but instead we're gonna move on. Okay. These are the babies. These are the babies. I got these when they were roughly 10 days old. Mm -hmm. And I got 20,000 of them. They came in a cooler from Florida. Did you say 20,000? 20, 20,000 is what I stocked this tank with. So how big are the shrimp in here? They're smaller than an eyelash. Oh, there's one. Right at the tip of my thumb. Oh, I can see him jumping. Oh. <laughs> so this is the three month old tank, right? These are three months old. And what I love is that these are all pools. Yeah, there's swimming pools that have been modified. Yeah, I mean, this one's camo. Yeah. It's just so fun. <laughs> I love it. Oh, they are jumpy. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. Can Grab I touch one. him? Yeah. Grab one. Oh! <laughs> hey, little guy. You're going to get really big. They shed their shell. This is the tail part. This was the head. You can see where the antenna was. And that's how they grow. Each yeah. time they get to a different stage right. in their when life they, cycle, they, they have to shed. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to keep track of with these little shrimp. You walk in, you're like, oh, it's just shrimp that are being moved from tank to tank. But I mean, you're constantly, every day, checking the pH, checking the oxygen. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really a constant, just making right. sure that their environment is what they need in order to thrive and survive. Correct, yep. Right now, we're just sorting through the size we're gonna pull out five pounds here today. That's kind of what was ordered. 100 to 120 shrimp. My first time harvesting shrimp. I got a whole three of them. Maybe I should try for a better scoop next time. That guy's big. Oh, that's a nice one, yeah. You need some extra help? <laughs> Maybe on the weekends I can zip over here and there you go. become a shrimp wrangler. A noise? Do they make noises? No. That was in my mind. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Five pounds of shrimp. I'm going to take these down to Howard Hanna at the Rieger. He was actually one of the first chefs who reached out to KC Shrimp. We're going to see what he cooks up with these guys. Thanks, Mitch. Thank you. It was great. Have a good one. All right, let's go. I'm standing here in downtown Kansas City with none other than Howard Hanna. 
So kind of explain to me just the, the culinary perspective that you have here at the Rieger. Well, we're very much a farm-to-table restaurant, and I think that term maybe gets thrown around a lot and has lost a little meaning, but it's something we're pretty focused on and serious about here. It's very easy to do with meats here in the Midwest and great, you know, dairy and produce and cheeses and all kinds of other products, but it's very hard to do with seafood. And so the fish that are on the menu tend to be freshwater fish that are farm-raised in sustainable methods. The core of our cuisine here is definitely about our place, our region, and so it's so nice to have a shellfish option that's actually from here. So how did you find out about Casey Shrimp? I first heard about them uh, when my friend Craig Jones did a blog post about them. And uh, he's somebody that's kind of always got his ear to the ground and what's happening in the food world around here. And uh, I really thought it sounded kind of crazy and I was sort of uh, surprised by it. In over a year I've been using them, we've done you know several different dishes with them and it's fun to you know, think of different applications that really show them off and let them shine. Awesome. Yeah. So what are you going to make? So I'm going to do two different dishes today. One is a uh, crispy uh, shrimp. It's going to be kind of Mexican flavors, actually, and a little bit spicy. Just for a little richness, we're doing some crema. Also, we're doing a little uh, avocado salsa that we made, and it's actually habanero chili in it. So it's pretty spicy. And then last, just some picked fresh cilantro leaves. This is awesome. I just love how simple the preparation is, but how much it allows the shrimp to really shine. The next preparation we're gonna do is a campanelli pasta with the Casey shrimp in a cauliflower cream sauce. And then just a few simple garnishes. Guanciale, which is pork jowl, and we're gonna put an egg yolk in the center. And is this mint? Yes. Oh, and lovely. so really just a leaf or two. And then the shrimp are tender, the pasta's tender. So we do want it a little crunch and a little contrasting texture. So these are pine nuts, and that's it. So the Rieger, along with being known for its amazing farm-to-table food, is a fantastic cocktail spot. So I'm gonna take this pasta over to the bar and have myself a sip.